Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Craig Young and this is Zoom My Blue Throat Macaw. In today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about things that you can find on your doorstep that are safe for your birds. Bye Zoom. There are lots of things that you can find on your doorstep from plants to berries and trees that are all really safe for your bird. The trees you can use as perches and the things for them to chew on and destroy along with some plants which Zoom loves to shred. You can also find berries towards the end of the year that are great for your birds to eat that can be frozen down. In the wild, these crazy little creatures would actually eat a lot of plants and flowers, the leaves on trees and that sort of vegetation. So it's really good if we can actually offer them and try and replace that in captivity. I am by no means an expert at identifying plants and trees, but there are some really, really helpful apps that you can download straight onto your phone, take a picture of what you're looking at, and it will tell you straight away what the plant is and you will know if it's parrot safe or not. That's a really, really helpful thing to have when you're looking for something to give them. Dandelions are one of the first and most simple things to identify that most people have either in their garden or right near their house. So it's a really, really good place to start. As you can see, Zim's quite happy with the dandelion, aren't you? Around the farm, we're really, really lucky to have rows and rows of poplar trees, which is the most common branch I use, just because we have so much of it. Zoom giving a great demonstration of exactly what they love to do to these branches and showing just how enriching they can be to the birds' lives. It's now hiding under a branch. Here is something that's extremely easy to grow and that is mint. It grows like a weed and it is safe for your parrots to eat. You can add it into their chop or simply just give them a pot of it to chew on in their cage or aviary. Incredibly beautiful and the parrots love them. Pansies are a great one. Nasturtiums are another one and they're extremely easy to grow. You can grow them in flats, houses, wherever you are. Admittedly, I am absolutely useless at identifying trees, so I've downloaded one of the tree identifying apps and I'm going to give it a go. So, we simply press take photo, take photo of the tree in question, use that photo, identify it by leaf, wait, you might have to wait a few minutes while it goes through the process of working out what it's identifying. We get rid of this because we don't need that. And it is showing us it is a form of Asa. So if we select on that one, and there's all the information you need to know on the tree. Using the app, I've identified that this beautiful acer or maple tree is actually parrot safe. So as long as you give the branches a good scrub and remove any fungus that's on them, you can give it to your birds. Something you would not want to fall into, it would hurt a lot, is the bramble bush or blackberry bush, wherever you may come from, whatever you may call it. This is the blackberry bush here. It still has some remnants of last year's fruits. If we can get that to focus. In the autumn time, this will be bursting full of berries. Hawthorns and rose hips are incredibly high in vitamin C and they grow absolutely everywhere. This is a rose hip bush, which still has some of the old dried rose hips on it from last year. I freeze down rose hips every year, keep them in the freezer and just defrost them as I need them and mix them in with my daily chop. It's really, really important that you are aware who the trees that you're going to cut down belong to and make sure you seek permission first. Don't just go chopping off branches of trees at the roadside. Naughty blue throat. I'm currently in communication with an organisation in Bolivia who are saving the wild population of blue throats. This is really, really exciting that hopefully Zoom and I can give our little bit back to conservation by being an ambassador for the species. I hope that today's video has inspired you to think outside of the box with your enrichment for your birds. Give it a try, get out there and find some new and exciting ways to keep these incredible little creatures entertained.
We have only just scratched the surface. The possibilities are absolutely endless. As exhausting as it has been filming with this little live wire today, we've had a great time. We hope you've enjoyed the video and that you've learned something new and we'll catch you guys really, really soon. Take care.